remember mortgage-backed securities? As explained in another video, banks can simply sell loans to investment banks, which package a bunch of them together and create a so-called mortgage-backed security that they sell to investors. Fundamentally speaking, the same principle is valid with so-called collateralized debt obligations, or CDOs, except that aside from mortgages, a wide range of other debt types can be included. Credit card debt, corporate debt, and so on. If mortgages are used exclusively, they're called mortgage-backed securities. If corporate debt is used exclusively, they're called asset-backed commercial paper, etc. This might sound complicated, but still not impossible to understand. Unfortunately, it gets worse because investors have different risk appetites. Let's assume a bunch of loans are packaged together from safe AAA rated loans to riskier ones. The final product has a credit rating of BBB with investors rewarded X% percent for the risk they take on. Joe considers the credit rating too low and the product therefore not safe enough, whereas Mike considers the X% percent too low and wants more. To satisfy both of them, so-called tranches were created. Joe can get a senior tranche that is, let's say, triple A rated if he accepts a reward that's lower than X%, percent, whereas Mike can get a junior tranche that is only B- minus rated but generates more than X%, percent, with others being able to get mezzanine tranches that are somewhere in between. By the same principle, should defaults occur, it's senior tranches that get the first claim on the collateral, whereas junior tranches are the last to get paid. As always, there are pros involved, such as diversification, and on the con side, there are concerns with respect to how dangerous for the global economy it can be to have complex financial products such as these CDOs created on top of already complex enough financial products such as the loans themselves, products that even banks and investment banks have trouble meaningfully understanding, let alone the average investor.